Hi, Laura here, and today we are talking about Mintzberg structures. This is something you should definitely be using in L5M1 module, especially if you get a question on organizational behavior. So these make up all of Mintzberg structure, and I like to think of it as someone with a monobrow, uh, two eyes and a massive nose, okay? It helps me visually, let's just go with it. Strategic Apex are your senior management team who make all the strategic decisions. Middle Line are your middle line management who run through everything. And Operating Core are your operational staff that do the day-to-day -day technical things. Then we have Technostructure, which is your IT support and so on. And then we have the staff support functions, which would be like your HR, even procurement, because we're providing a service for everyone else. So these are the elements that make up Mintzberg structures. But as you will see, Mintzberg created five different structural organizational types. Here we are. So the five organizational forms are simple, machine, otherwise known as bureaucratic, professional, divisional, sometimes referred to as independent, and ad hoc, which is known as his flexible organization structure. So we're going to deep dive into each one of these structures and trying to give you an example as best I can to help this come to life a little bit. The simple structure. The simple or entrepreneurial structure is small. So it's mostly the strategic apex and the operating core. Think of a startup here. They are maybe a one man band. They are both the strategic direction and the person with the expertise. So there's no middle line. There's no need for that techno structure or staff support. They're just essentially one or two people running this business as an entrepreneurial startup. Machine. A machine or bureaucratic structure has an enlarged middle line. So it's got all of these factors, but a massive amount of middle management, a bigger techno structure as well, because it needs that IT. So this is the thing with public sector or large bureaucracies, they're gonna have that strategic apex and that operating core still. However, they also have a large amount of middle management to manage all of these kind of rules and processes and the cogs in the wheel. That's why it's referred to as machine. Then we have professional. Professional is where you have little middle line or techno structure but with a large staff support. So there's not much middle management, it's quite a flat structure, there's not much IT needed and so on, but it's really about the staff support, whatever it is they're doing. I think maybe a good example of this could be a recruitment agency with all of that staff support in it. Divisional structures. A divisional, otherwise known as independent, have multiple middle line operating core structures with other elements at the head office. So the way to think about this is that you've got head office, that strategic apex, then you're gonna have lots of middle lines. So you'll have a middle line for the American office, a middle line for the Asian office, a middle line for the African office and so on, each with their own operating cores. And this is what you'd see with a multinational organization with offices across the world. So a big consultancy, you know, like Procter & Gamble or something along that lines. And the final structure is ad hoc. Ad hoc or flexible structure means that there's not much of a strategic apex or operating core that the techno structure and support staff band together at need. And you would tend to see this with kind of any fast moving IT technology or research and development business. So you'll see this quite a lot with a lot of kind of projects that are set up. For example, Xerox's uh, research center is very much using an ad hoc flexible approach. So those are the five organizational structures that Mintzberg went through. Hopefully they made sense. Hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to the channel and check back soon. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.